Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me. Friday, the end of another week, and I hope you've got a good weekend planned. Well, this needs talking about. I don't care what Sir Lindsay Hoyle says, or anybody else for that matter, it needs talking about. I do, of course, refer to Southport. I do, of course, refer to what happened. I do, of course, refer to who they have in custody right now for what they did. Now, at the time, it was more than obvious what happened, it was more than obvious what occurred, and it was more than obvious who got arrested. It was more than obvious what he was, yet anyone that came out and tried to make a comment, make a stand, come out on the streets and say, hang on a minute, we're very concerned about our families here, we're very concerned about our kids here, found themselves in a great deal of trouble inside as well and that includes Peter Lynch who got himself mixed up in a protest which obviously turned bad and all he was doing was standing there with a banner. It's obviously come out in the news in the last 24 hours how he died and to think of a family man, a grandfather, a grandfather with health problems for Christ's sake, disgusting. He should never have been there. And he's not the only one, is he? How many others shouldn't have been there? And it's all based on a lie. You know, if somebody commits a blatant and horrific criminal offence, such as what happened on that day, your life is torn apart, your home is searched, your family's homes are searched, your vehicles are searched, your laptops, your mobile phones are searched, possessions are re taken, you know, they turn your life upside down. So whatever the truth of that was, oh, they knew then. And all of these people, whether they were concerned grands, mums, granddads coming out, or the thug element, should we call it, that decided to throw bricks and throw stones and everything else, they came out based on what they saw to be the truth. But they were told, no, 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 you're not going to say anything or we're going to lock you up inside. You're not going to do anything or we're going to lock you up inside. All this time later, it turns out, they knew all along. They claim they didn't. They claim this is information just coming out now. But the timing stinks. And what really stinks even more is... All of these people locked up, I mean some of them chucking bricks and chucking stones and all the rest of it, fair Jews, they probably belong there. But there's a very large element in there that shouldn't be there because all they did was voice an opinion and as it turns out it was based on a lie which is coming out now. It's disgusting all round. They shouldn't be punished for this. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel because I try and break down that mainstream media nonsense and to give you a bit of honest truth, at least from my point of view. And I hope you leave here knowing that. Hit the like button. That helps the algorithm shove my stuff around everywhere. Share me on your socials. And I look forward to talking to you soon. To Lou.